He's a two-time Paralympic gold medalist in wheelchair basketball and has made it his mission to shine a positive light on athletes with disabilities. Joining us now is Matt Scott. Matt, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank so happy you. to have you here on Live in the Bay. I'm pumped to be here. Thank you for having me, Olivia. You're, you're so gracious for having me. Yeah, of course. You are such an inspiration to so many out there. And, you know, before we get into your entire career, let's first and foremost touch on your disability and raise some awareness out there to people who may not know. That's a, that's a great idea. So I was born with a congenital birth defect. It's called spina bifida. Mm -hmm. It's actually the number one birth defect in the world. Um, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's quite popular. Um, it's, it's, it's been around for a very long time. Um, it's a preventable uh, disability, but it is a congenital birth defect. And when it comes to your disability, you know, we were talking a little bit here before the show, and you said it's super important to you to just raise awareness out there and bring knowledge to everybody. Why is it so important to you, Matt? So I grew up in a society that, that almost taught me that having a disability was a negative thing. And I want to be part of a society that, that makes people more aware, that, that gives people the education and, tell, and lets people know that have disabilities, that it's okay to have one. And that, mm -hmm. that could actually be a powerful thing for you. Mm -hmm. And also teach people that don't have disabilities that it's okay to have a disability. It's just, yeah. A, yeah, it's just something, something a little bit different, but something that's okay. And your disability has absolutely never stopped you from accomplishing your dreams. Well, well let's talk first about of all, that. Like, <laughs> nothing's going to stop me from accomplishing my dreams, a disability or otherwise. As and as it should not. That's right. And you have had an incredible career. You've played professional wheelchair basketball overseas in Europe for about 13 years. You, you told me you just came back in 2021. Five-time Paralympic, um, two-time gold medalist. Tell us about your career over there. What was it like for you? So having the opportunity to play abroad, to and my first opportunity to play overseas was in Turkey. I spent six years over there. It was amazing. Something, something that it was eye-opening for me, but also showed me that sp like sports and with dis like disability and sports were something that that people really valued. Um, I moved over from from Turkey to Italy. Same thing. They really valued that as a sport. I moved it over to Germany, really valued it as a sport. It wasn't something like, oh my God, those guys are in wheelchairs and they're playing sports. It was like, yes, let's go. Like the, the fans were really into it. They, we would get big crowds. It was, they really treated it, um, it was a big culture of sport there. And mm -hmm. I really want to kind of bring that same energy here, not only to the Bay Area, but all over America. And, and an Olympian. I mean, not many people out here can sit here and say, hey, I was an Olympian. I competed in the Olympics. Not only did you compete, but you won two gold medals. You brought them here today. Can I pick one of these oh, up? Absolutely. I want to pick, pick a vocal if you want. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little heavy, everybody. As you can see here, we have two, one of his gold medals. This one is from Rio, and, and it is actually pretty heavy. Um, I mean, such an accomplishment for you. I just think that this is so cool that you've won two gold medals. What did that mean to you to have these? you know and hang these up as accomplishments as a as an athlete there's no better feeling than that when you're when you hear your nation's song played up played up and your, your flags above everybody else's um, and you've you've got through every sacrifice and every every stigma and everything that you need to get by to in order to get that gold medal it's the best feeling that you could possibly feel and i got I got a chance to feel that twice twice you know, so <laughs> it was it was it was amazing that that one that you were just holding is from rio and this last one over here is from tokyo that we just won um just over a year ago and after you won won a couple of these gold medals you actually were able to meet the president the vice president what was that experience like so you know and when when it comes to when it comes to uh, golden experiences, a lot of things happen after that. You know, it, it opens the doors for so many different things. You know, you you meet different athletes who have, have accomplished major things, and you meet people that want to open the door for you. Um, I actually just spent some time at the vice president's residence, um, commemorating the American with Disabilities Act. Uh, mm -hmm. It was thir it's the 32 uh, 32 annual um, American with Disability Act, and we were able to commemorate that. And Kamala Harris spoke so beautifully about the disabled community and mm -hmm. where that's going to take us in the future. That's so cool. It's so cool that you're able to have that conversation with her. Now, an incredibly accomplished professional athlete. Let's switch gears, though. That's not the only thing that you've accomplished. You're also doing so much with the youth and the community. Tell us about that. So, yeah, I mean, that's that, that's just my platform. As, a, as an athlete, it gives me the opportunity to, to give back. And acts of service is really what makes me happy. So since I moved here to the Bay Area, I've really wanted to give back not only to this community, but the community of people with disabilities, um, my community of black 
black people, my, my community, just of just surrounding area, right? So yeah. I really want to, I really want to have those acts of service. So here in the, here in the Bay Area, I, I contribute to the Life Goes On Foundation, mm -hmm. which, which, uh, which provides awareness for senseless gun violence and helps yeah. people with spinal cord injuries. Um, I've also been contributing to the Reading Partners of the Bay Area, which you're which you're familiar of. Yes, we had those. Uh, we had our friends over there here on the show. Huh? Absolutely. Um, in the in in 2023, I'll be releasing a children's book that's going to benefit children with disabilities, and I'm, I hope to partner with the uh, Reading Partners of the Bay Area to go around and read that book to mm -hmm. to bring awareness to to kids around the Bay Area. And I, I don't want to have any spoilers too much, but what what's the story about? Can you give us a glimpse? Absolutely. It, well, to be honest, it's going to be a series. It's going to be a series of what it's what it takes to be a person with a disability growing up as a kid so I mean it takes a lot of confidence it takes a uh, it takes a lot of uh, resilience and mm -hmm. it takes a lot of positivity um, there's gonna be different themes that we hit on on each book mm -hmm. and uh, the the title of the series is called just like Matt um, it came, just like Matt. It came from it came from my mother. Um, I'm a big mama's boy. That's 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 my hero. That's sweet. And um, she's always she's always been um, she's always been a big proponent of someone that's just like, hey, you can do it just like Matt. Mm -hmm. Whether you have a disability, whether whatever your difference is, you can do it just like Matt did. Yeah. Um, so that's gonna be the that's gonna be the premise of the of the series. Well, we're excited for that to come out. Now, and, Matt, you've you've done so much in the community. You've done so much as a professional athlete, and a lot of this ties back to representation. Why is representation so important, especially in today's climate? Well, it, it means everything. And I, I fully intend on representing to the fullest. You know, we both yeah. look fly up here today. Yes, we do. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Yes. Um, but representation is so important. You never know who, who out there is watching. There could be somebody out there that's struggling with their disability, not thinking that society accepts what they have. They might not know what's, 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 accomplished, what's able to be accomplished out there. They might not know that you can go out uh, abroad and, and win these gold medals. They might not know that you can play a professional a wheelchair basketball career overseas. And I'm here to bring that awareness. You know, so that representation, like being here on this stage right now, um, being being supported by by major major companies. You know, I've you know I've I've had the I've had the luxury of being able to be sponsored by some of the most big companies in the across the world. You know, yeah. Nike sponsored me in a in a in a television ad. You know, the, leading up to the Tokyo Paralympics, uh, we had we had uh, Team Toyota who had stepped in that that really gave us the opportunity to uh, to thrive as Paralympians. They supported us all as Team USA Paralympians. Um, the Hartford has really spon uh, sponsored me for this entire uh, period of my career and really put me on a platform. So being able to be a representation of what it what it means to not only have a disability but mm -hmm. Dominate that disability to make that disability look so small and make my career look so much larger than what disability could ever be mm -hmm. it, it means everything and I just want to represent to the fullest well you are absolutely doing that you're representing you're inspiring one more question before I let you go That's if right. you have one tip out there for anybody and everybody who may just feel like it's so hard to accomplish their dreams or maybe that they're unobtainable what would it be I love that question because everything is attainable, just with the right mindset. Uh, one thing that my mom's always told me, one thing that people have always told me is that if you've put your mind to it, if you set a goal, then go after it. I'm a big, I'm a person that, that likes to put those goals down. I like to write them down. I like to see them. And if I can see that goal, I can make it happen. Just as long as I, I put it down, whether I put it down in my phone, whether I write it down, whether I put it up on a bulletin, if I can see that goal, guaranteed I can make it happen. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Your story is just so inspiring. We appreciate your time. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, Olivia. Yeah.